Hey Jammers, it's me Judith from Jamming with Judith and welcome to Leg Day. Alrighty, so this morning I was working out and I focused on my legs, my waist on down. So today I'm going to show you two movements you can do to help your thighs, your inner thigh and your outer thigh. And our legs or thighs are so important because they help us with walking, of course, but they also help us just with stability and balance. Okay, so we want to, we're used to working our quads, but today, like I said, we want to focus on our inner thigh and our outer thigh. And you can do this with or without weight, okay? So for your inner thigh, oh, and also, you can have a chair nearby if you want to use that for balance. I'll demonstrate with the chair. All right, so you're standing straight, your shoulders are back. And I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna have my left leg as my stable leg. So, can't quite see my foot, but I have my leg here and I have my knee slightly bent. That's called a soft knee. Now the other leg, you're gonna bend it. See, I have my foot here, so that your inner thigh is facing forward. And just to give me a little extra resistance on my thigh, but you don't need to, I'm gonna have this weight. And so this is all you do. Just lift your leg up and down. That's it, up and down. But it's forcing your body to focus on a different uh, muscle. Not the top of your thigh, which is your quads, but the side of your thigh. In this case, your inner thigh. Again, you can do this for as long as you want. You know, I usually about 45 seconds is what I do at one time. And as I lift, I squeeze. So I'm squeezing in my abdomen. That means I'm pulling my belly button back towards my spine. And when I bring my leg up, I'm squeezing my glutes, uh, your buttocks, okay? So I'll help t tighten those buttocks muscles. But you just bring your foot up and down. And notice I'm uh, gently placing my foot down. I'm not letting it drop. Okay, I'll just do two more. And one more. Okay. Ooh, so it feels good. Shake it out. So now I'm going to do my other leg. Again, the leg that's uh, balancing me. Keep that straight. The foot's facing forward. And the knee is slightly bent. My other leg, I'm going to turn sideways. Oh, move my weight. I'll hold on to the wall. And lift. There we go. I don't want to lean over. So that's why you can use a chair to help you with your balance. Or right now, I'm just gently have my hand on a wall. Or you can do without. I'm going to move back just a smidgen. There we go. My head was getting lost. And again, I haven't been counting. I usually do about 45 seconds. I have a timer. So I'll just do four more. Three more. Two more. So you can really feel that right there. And one more. So that was my inner thigh. Now I'm going to focus on my outer thigh. So I get out of my chair here. And I'm going to hold on to that. Shoulders back, staying up straight, legs forward. This time I'm going to put the weight on the side of my thigh. Make sure I have enough room. I'm just going to lift it up. And keeping my body straight. I don't want to go like that. That's a no-no. Just keep your body up. And just lift your leg as high as you can go comfortably. Let me move back a little bit. There, can you see me? And notice I'm lifting it up and bringing it back down. I'm not going clunk. Okay, so up and down. Again, this is helping your side muscles. It also helps your glutes. But mostly, mostly I focus on my side thigh. And every time I lift my leg, I'm going to squeeze my abdomen. Pull that belly button back towards the spine. So I help tighten up that muscle too. And of course, I wasn't timing, so let's, I'll just do four more. Four, three, two, and one. And now the other leg. So let's see if I wanted to hold on. Okay, I have my wall here, or my chair here. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. I'll just move the chair here. Okay. And move the camera slightly. So again, put my weight on my outer thigh, keep this knee soft, and lift, lift. 
Now you notice when you're lifting, you're going to feel this in several places. Uh, one, I'm going to feel it on this thigh, the one that's staying still, because all my weight is on this leg. So that's making that stronger. Then you're also going to feel it on the side of the leg that's moving. You're using that muscle. And it may feel a little strange. We walk forward, we walk backwards, but we don't always go side to side. But that muscle needs to be strong too. Again, your inner thighs and your outer thigh muscles, they really help with balance and stability, walking, running, skating, just anything that you need your legs for. All right, let me do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! I don't know about you, and so you could just play this again and again, but my legs got a real workout today. So today I focused on my outer thighs and my inner thighs. Both of these exercises will help strengthen your inner thighs and outer thighs, and they're going to help you with your balance so you can stay up when you move, when you walk, when you run, when you skate, when you jog, just whatever you do to use your legs, swim, this inner thighs and outer thighs are going to help you. Okay, so again, this is Judith from Jam with Judith. I want you to keep moving for your health. And most importantly, I want you to keep on jamming. Bye-bye.